हेलो एवरी वन ए वर्क गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वुड लाइक टू वेलकम टू ऑल टू आर दिस सेशन ऑफ यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वेल सो विद द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ आवर सीरीज रिगार्डिंग कंप्लीट पेपर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ओडिशा एस एस बी लेक्चर्स डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द सीरीज नंबर सेवेन विल डिस्कस द इम्पोर्टाट टॉपिक्स एक्सपेक्टेड with explanation followed by the additional informations before starting our uh, today discussion would like to um, brief the significance of the today class it's important for the pgt ssb pgt opsc pgt and ssb lecture along with ugc net followed by the set and assistant professor so as you know that uh, with the uncertainty of the date of examination we are preparing with sincere and the dedicated way so guys i think why not we start our today discussion with a famous quotation which is delivered by one of the intellectual persons so the today quotation is that you cannot cross the sea merely by standing okay you cannot cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water okay okay so the quotation is you cannot cross the sea that means to cross a sea it's not easy job you cannot cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water okay to to pass a sea or to cover a sea sea means what the samudra okay to pass or cross a sea you need some effort you need some deliberate effort any kind of work you want to do you need some deliberate effort and for that you just not look on that problem but you need to go into detail of the problem so my dear all with this note i am going to clarify you the objective of today's sessions that we are not overly covering the topic and different thing but our objective is beyond that what is our objective the first thing to develop an approach to crack the questions so this session is going to help you with objective to develop an approach to crack the questions that is our first objective second objective to help to help for quick revision of the syllabus i know i know my dear all that to revise the syllabus to do a self study it's a typical tax is a typical tax but when you revise something with the help of video with the help of the your co learners like me it will easy to help for quick revision for the syllabus okay then third thing last not the least to make you ready with objective to crack any kind of question like you see in your examination there is a different type of question and this session based on objective to make you ready with objective to crack, crack any kind of questions like be it your g20 like questions be it your uh, question like uh, the different uh, Uh, act and en enactment for example or ship act okay or ship act comes under which uh, prime minister or for example i will say another top questions uh, that is your actist policy in which your so these are some typical uh, questions which make us to, uh, to to crack the questions okay difficult to crack the question but this session with objective to make you ready with objective to crack any kind of question that is how our solo objective okay guys so this is you need to understand here so with this note i would like to start our discussion let's get start okay so first question in front of you that uh, international relation literature is very rich identify the uh, from the below the wrong pair so you need to identify the wrong pair okay option a eh car 20 year of uh, crisis okay option b headley bull world since 1945 and option c raymond aron source into the plosses and option d hans j morgan thau politics among nations so you need to find the wrong pair okay guys you need to find the wrong pair okay okay so as you all know that the correct answer of this question is option b okay option 
be that Hadley Bull and the world since 1945 so this book is not written by Hadley Bull but it is written by the Williams okay Williams okay okay let's see quickly the different book and thinker so 20 year of crisis E.H. Carr okay in 1919 to 39 that is known as what 20 year of crisis 1919 to 39 that is E.H. Carr then Hadley Bull Anarchical Society Justice in International Relations okay okay the Anarchical Society and Justice in International Relations is a famous book by Hadley Bull okay it's a very very important book and I personally believe that if you really want to cover some important books with respect to international relations, then you should read the Anarchical Society. Okay, Justice in International Relations, another book by Hadley Bull. Similarly, World Since 1945, a book written by the Williams. Okay, W.C. Williams. Okay, W.C. Williams wrote a book, World Since 1945. Okay, and in this book, the scholar argue. Uh, that new emphasize on impact of globalization event in the Middle East, political and economic changes in the East Asia, as well as the new information and maps throughout are among the feature of these thoroughly revised editions. Okay, so uh, the world since 1945 it emphasized on the uh, Middle East, uh, then the basically East Asia regarding the uh, your uh, impact of globalizations, for example. Uh, the information regarding the economic changes uh, and different thing okay okay that is how uh, the content in the world since 1945 wc williams okay then uh, another book politics and history the book by raymond oran okay who wrote a book politics and history na raymond oran so this is how the few of important things i guess uh, if you uh, if you seen okay if you have seen the uh, MRFT okay MRFT paper uh, this kind of question was asked okay so this kind of question was asked in your MRFT 2024 uh, okay the Mukhya Mantri Research Fellowship uh, test okay okay so in this way moving to the next question so here another question John Hodge was associated with uh, John Hodge was associated with uh, it was also a question of 2023 SSB lecture okay uh, positivism B realistic liberalism C idealism and D aggressive nationalism okay so John Hodge associated with whom na, realistic liberalism option B that realistic liberalism John Hodge okay guys so option B is the correct answer of the question number 62 okay moving to the next realistic realism liberalism that is how the John Hodge and uh, as I uh, have already told you that John Hodge coined the term security dilemma okay the security dilemma term coined by John Hodge then what is the security dilemma that could be also a uh, possible uh, question for your examination security dilemma means what now arm race or arm competition uh, between the two nations for example India and Pakistan okay India and Pakistan compete for the development of arm weapons um, then different tanks fighters that for what now because of the national interest because of because of the security and that security created a dilemma to compete each other with objective to develop the arm and uh, ammunition or weapons in order to preserve the security of the nations and that lead to a dilemma to each other that is known as a security dilemma okay getting my point so okay so you need to just remember john hodge coined the term the security dilemma and john hodge related to the concept realistic liberalism okay realistic liberalism john hodge very very important okay then moving to the another question uh jepinas jepinas known for what we all know that jepinas known for the concept of what game theory okay so jepinas is the scholar to the game theory the game theory scholar Japanese okay and Nas equilibrium one of the strategy of game with objective to help the non-cooperative game okay so in game theory what there is a non-cooperation between the two conflictual candidate or two conflictual party okay if you know prisoner dilemma there is two prisoner and with have a no cooperations 
दैट इज नोन एज व्हाट नॉन कोपरेटिव गेम द अनदर एग्जांपल फॉर द गेम थ्योरी माइंड योर ऑल रिमेंबर द नॉन कोपरेटिव गेम दैट इज नोन एज द गेम थ्योरी देयर विल नो एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द कोपरेशन बिटवीन द टू पार्टी दैट इज हाउ द योर गेम थ्योरी एंड जेपीनेस नैस इक्विलेबरियम अ स्ट्रैटेजी दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर ओके गाइज देन अनदर क्वेश्चन हु सेड सर्वाइवल ऑफ ए स्टेट डिपेंड ऑन इट्स मेटेरियल कैपेबिलिटी एंड इट्स अलायंस विथ अदर स्टेट्स सो एज यू नो दैट आई ऑलवेज से टू यू दैट प्लीज फोकस और इम्फासाइज ऑन द की वर्ड द की वर्ड टू द सेंट्रल टू आंसर दिस कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सर्वाइवल इज वन ऑफ द की वर्ड मेटेरियल कैपेबिलिटी इज इन वन ऑफ द क्रेडुअल ओके ओके सो दिस कैंड ऑफ थिंग सेड बाई होम्स ऑप्शन है हंस जे मॉर्गेन था कैनिथ वाइल्ड हेड हेडले बुल एंड द सामल फी हंटिंगटन ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वी ऑल नो ओके वी ऑल नो ओके व्हाट इज द आंसर सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी दिस वन गाइज बी दिस वन बी दिस वन सी ओके सो कैनिथ वाइल्ड सो कैनिथ वाइल्ड डिफेन्सिव रियलिजम एंड डिफेन्सिव रियलिजम टॉक अबाउट द सर्वाइवल ऑफ द स्टेट्स सर्वाइवल ऑफ द स्टेट्स security for what na survival of the states defensive defensive realism and you also need to understand when you talk about defensive realism there is another concept that is offensive realism what is offensive realism okay john morsemor do you remember the john morsemor's idea offensive realism that to maximize the security with objective to a higher or a hegemonic power a hegemonic power or higher power and for that a maximization of the security required that is a offensive okay you try to defeat someone but on other hand the kenneth wiles defensive realism believes to defend for protect yourself you just defend and you basically maximize the security okay that is the concept you need to remember okay question number 64 answer Kenneth Walsh, Kenneth Walsh, the defensive realism. Okay, guys. So key term is survival, security dilemma, and structural realism. Do remember also the new realism is also known as the structural realism. Okay, structural realism is also known as the new realism. And Kenneth Walsh and book the man, the state, and war. The man, the state, and the war. This is the book written by whom? Na Kenneth Walsh. So Kenneth Walsh wrote a book, the man, the state, and war. Okay. Realism and international politics, theory of international politics, the famous book for the Kenneth Walsh. Okay, okay. Moving to the next, who was called the father of balance of power of nineteenth century? Okay, nineteenth century B O P, father of balance of power nineteenth century. Okay, most of the people did mistake with respect to this question, but we need to understand. the question very carefully so option a napoleon third b metternich and c bismarck and d james monero so the correct answer of this question is option b metternich okay the balance of power 19th century father of the balance power 19th century okay so let's quickly understand now what is the balance of power in 19th century and this scholar so there is no as such mention that metternich is the father of the balance of power in 19th century but as per our interpretation his great contribution to vienna congress one thing you need to remember vienna congress as a chairman and consort of the europe okay another concept consort of europe consort of europe consort of europe which is known as the center of european balance of power an idea of equilibrium can be considered as the father of the balance of power in 19th century okay okay so why he considered is the father of balance of power in 19th century now because of the chairmanship of vienna congress along with the concept of europe concept of europe and vienna congress in austria one of the a landmark a landmark comprehensive platform which talks about the contribution of metternich okay and he famous for the idea of equilibrium can consider as the and from that point of view consider as the father of the balance of power 19th century even no authenticated book mention that he considered the father of uh, the balance of power 19th century but but for the sake of interpretation and their contribution to the uh, europe uh, political thought of 19th century regarding the uh, realism from that point of view considered the father of the 
balance of power 19th century getting my point so sometime you need to also uh, mm, crack the question very smartly okay so that is how you need to remember and in other or any form they could ask also the question with respect to same okay then uh, another important concept that to him there is no fair distribution of the power but equilibrium as a concept of European balance of power where flexibility of ideology can be noticed example European bloc against Russia in Crimea war okay that is how balance of power won Russia and European bloc then French uh, Serbian concept before the world war first okay so most people confuse Bismarck as the father of the balance of power 19th century he also had a great contribution to 19th century but Bismarck is not a father of the balance of power in 19th century as much as we have discussed and according to the SSB lecture and key okay I hope you now have a clear understanding regarding this okay then moving to the next identify the wrong one from the least treaty and conventions held in the field of disarmament given below okay you need to find the wrong one so whenever you read just try to find out why and what the question ask all about okay how and what the question ask all about so chemical weapon convention 1990 cwc so 1990 cwc chemical weapon convention is it correct or wrong obviously we all know cwc is 1993 multiple time we have discussed it. so so 1993 okay so 1993 cwc c WC chemical weapon convention 1993 CWC okay uh, then convention on cluster munici and we all know that is our answer a let's quickly revise the PO of international treaty for example point of view so CWC 1993 uh, 1972 biological weapon convention 1993 chemical weapon convention then treaty of Westphalia 1648 city of Westphalia okay 1648 then treaty of Versailles 1919 1919 treaty of Versailles treaty of Sorbs 1920 1926 of sorbs geneva protocol 1925 geneva protocol then ptbt partial nuclear test ban treaty 1963 in which year the ptbt was signed na 1963 the partial test ban treaty 1963 then npt nuclear non proliferation treaty 1968 when it was came to force 1970 do you remember 1970 okay okay so in this way you need to revise the concept a uh, multiple time okay so 1968 the uh, NPT nuclear non proliferation treaty then salt first 1972 salt first okay okay then uh, biological weapon convention 1972 1972 biological weapon convention BWC 1972 biological weapon convention then salt to 1979 okay so BWC that is 1972 and 1979 the salt to okay okay then other important uh, treaty international war and uh, the basically disarmament treaty and it's important because you know right now the world uh, is at the stage of the uh, the shadow of the cold war okay shadow of cold war or we can say that the middle east is now in the situation of the war okay so there are number of treaty which is violated and and we need to remember that thing so INF the intermediate range nuclear force treaty 1987 okay so 1987 INF intermediate range nuclear force treaty you need to remember then start first 1991 okay so 1991 start first you need to remember start second 1993 uh, start second okay start first 91 start 3 93 okay salt first 1972 salt second 79 okay that's that is the uh, we you need to remember CTBT 1996 1996 comprehensive test ban treaty India is part of it no then hair code of conduct 2002 and new star treaty 2010 okay 2010 new star treaty so this is how the few of important international war treaty okay hope you all will remember getting my point everyone okay okay fine then then arm for peace 1953 then uh, the conventional arm force in europe 1990 1972 anti-ballistical missile treaty then sort and moscow treaty 2002 okay strategic of 